It's filled with cannulas. Got one. Okay, now what? Hey, what's that? You awake? Barely. Wh why is it so dark in here? Uh, we're working on it. Hang tight, I'll go get help. Katarina? Can you hear me? Ow, oh, yeah, barely. Oh, my head is killing me. Who's was asking? Hang on, I'll get some light in here. Christ, that's bright. There. Who did this to you, Katarina? That hag. What's her name? The foul-mouthed woman at City Hall? Stina Ruth? Yeah. I need you to tell the police what you just told me. That will give us a mandate to go after her. I don't know about that. Sounds like you need my help, sister. What's in it for me? The possibility of having your offspring return to you, for one. Wait, what? Did something happen? Yes. Somebody triggered a premature birth and kidnapped your child. No. Fuck. Okay, I'll help. She came out of nowhere, touched my forehead, and everything went black. My knees caved, and, and I could feel something greedily carving through my mind, nibbling at my memories. It was terrifying. Are you certain that this assault was done by Stina Ruth? I'm positive. I saw her clearly. Strangely enough, she didn't seem to care about hiding from me at all. Did you get a sense of what information she was looking for? Not really, but the whole process felt frantic, rushed. Hmm. Why do you think she even left you alive? Fuck if I know. Maybe she was interrupted or she just assumed I would never wake up. This testimony certainly improves your case, Agent, but I'm still not convinced. Elaborate, please. I'm struggling to see why this information wouldn't be enough to rescind my arrest order. Look, a longtime trusted member of our community has accused you, an outsider, of murdering Leonard Dahl on behalf of terrorists. Now you are relying on a suspected member of this terrorist cell to clear your name. Surely you can see what the problem is. It's impossible for me to have committed that murder. I was in my quarters all night. Can anyone corroborate that? I had the evening shift. I saw her enter her room at around 10. That's a start. Who took your place during the night shift? I did, Commissary. No one came in or out of the police station until early morning. <sighs> Why am I hearing about all of this now? With all due respect, sir, no one tells me anything. I didn't know it was important. Well then, I have to admit that we no longer have grounds for an arrest. I'm glad you are starting to see reason. Yes, my apologies. There was something unnatural about the councilwoman. It was very convincing. How would you like to proceed? Stina is an ex-agent and extremely dangerous. Given my training and background, I'm best suited to deal with her. Stay vigilant and be on the lookout but do not engage with her unless you have no other choice. I will handle her alone. Understood. Oh, and before I forget, here's your weapon. Good. I'll need that. Thanks. Let's meet up later at the station. You'll leave a deputy to keep an eye on her, yeah? She's far from harmless. Of course. Now, with that out of the way, it's time for us to have a serious talk. <sighs> Can't wait, sister. It's in your best interest to cooperate. The faster you answer my questions, the faster I can pursue the kidnapper. Fine. Ask your questions then. Sure, but one thing needs to be taken care of first. Your wrist implant. You're in luck. I can't feel it anymore, so the doctor must have taken it out. You know anything about that, deputy? Uh, yeah. Dr. Pearson had some theory about a foreign object in her body causing the coma. Noted. I'll have to ask him about that when I'm done here. We are ready for a formal interrogation then. Are you trying to resurrect AI? What do you think? 
Did you happen to skip past the conduit section and all those textbooks of yours? I know them by heart, but I'm more curious about your logical reasoning. You must know that AI almost destroyed our entire civilization. AI had nothing to do with that. Alarmists and doom prophets were responsible. The old world was a place of wonder, you know? Limitless wealth and prosperity, and we threw it all away. You're omitting the looming threat of our own destruction. Human evolution, even with genetic engineering, stands no chance of catching up with an AI singularity. Why would we even need to catch up? Are we really that scared of anything greater than us? People treat AI as some outside force with an intent to destroy us all. AI is our own creation, our progeny. What sane parent would fear their children surpassing them? We're still seeing things through the eyes of the fucking primitive predators we really are. Kill or be killed. Anything remotely resembling a threat must be destroyed. You're incorrect. It was simple self-preservation. <sighs> I used to be just like you. I wish Maya was alive. She could have helped you understand. I am more open-minded than you might think. Why don't you give me a chance? What's the point? You'll only use the information against me. You'll take my child away or worse. If you want my confession, you have it. Yes, I'm guilty of trying to save humanity. Yes, I'm guilty of trying to awaken Huldra, what you'd call an AI superintelligence powered by a singularity. I have a recording where Maya called your child a vessel for Huldra. You're trying to create a human AI hybrid, right? <sighs> You're wasting time. I'll tell you everything when my daughter is safe in my arms. Dr. Pearson? Ah! Whoa, relax. Don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry about that. Oh, yes. A small tubular implant right here. Thanks. Have you been able to determine what it does? No, I can't make head nor tails of it. I'd suggest asking an engineer. Fair enough. Hmm. Maya had a peculiar wound on her wrist, but no implant. It is possible that the killer cut it out. And Carl? Alas, he was cremated before I got a chance. The next of kin was really fussy about that. Damn. Where are the ashes? Still in the oven. I was about to collect them. That one? No, the one in my kitchen. Excuse me? I'm joking. You really need to lighten up, you know? I'll worry about that when the case is solved. Wow, the implant is still intact. Two electronic wrist implants. Wow, you made it out. Stating the obvious much? I need to know all about your daring escape. It was a close call. I had to rely on some dangerous self-harm and, well, your distraction, I presume. Thanks for that. Anytime. Oh. That would certainly be preferable. There's too much at stake. I have no doubt. I'm off. Take care. Bye bye. Oh, my God. Uh, what? Are those, are those robot eggs? Uh, Nisa, no, that's not quite. You better take those away before he gets excited. Hi again. Hey there. What do you know about the Free Church of Epos? Oh, nothing much. I... What do you think of the conduit? Lunatics. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Sure, I may seem like the kind of guy who would meddle with AI, but you have to remember that these are just puppets and dolls. That's true. I'm not really a robot. We just pretend I am. That's right, my lad. 
My family was almost wiped out in the collapse. I wouldn't betray their memory by supporting those nutjobs. I'm off. Take care. Bye-bye, police. Looks like her address is at 5 Lingren Street. A diploma for a specially distinguished service, signed by the bureau director. An old badge from when Stina was a police officer in the city. An old badge. That's the biggest bottle of booze I have ever seen. Various items to care for a baby. Stina must be the kidnapper. A smoker, too? It seems that Stina is a woman of many vices. A number of empty glass vials in a neat package. There were a couple of tapes here. Report number three. After roughly a month of surveillance, I am sure there are no more than three people in the group. The leader and the young couple. I have been unable to determine the location of their mainframe, but it must be in one of the key locations here in Nordsund. They rarely go down to the ground. The shack and the junk heap appears to be connected to a large makeshift antenna, so they may have access to long-range communications. The leader keeps referring to her wrist implant as a key, but I'm not sure to what. In any case, we should make sure to obtain it when we strike. We're starting to reach a point where we know enough to take action. Let's meet after dark at the usual place and discuss our options. Leonard, signing off. Looks like Stina when she was about my age. I know what you said, but I can't wait any longer. They're getting too close. The child will be born in a matter of weeks. If they finalize Project Huldra, it'll be the end of us all. I'll take care of their leader first. I've gained her trust, so it shouldn't be hard to get along with her. As for the child, the host, God forgive me, but it is an abomination. I will do what needs to be done. Make sure you destroy these tapes. If things go wrong, I don't wish for any blame to fall on you or my church. You have taught me much, Councilwoman. If I fail, I trust you'll find a way to resume my sacred duty. Goodbye. So, if Leonard killed the Conduit members, who killed Leonard? That's some shaky aim. Withdrawal? Those empty vials tell quite a story. I better try to track her.
Good grief, that's a huge bird. defeat me. The Bureau will send everything they've got. Fuck it! Damn you, Leonard! Trying to rationalize your own vile actions, are you? I assume you took his life. Of course I did. That brainwashed idiot forced my hand. I just wanted to steal their technology, and he decided to go on a fucking killing spree. You don't get it, Vera. We're both living on borrowed time. Blue clings on to you. You'll never be free. You'll see. The only way is to give in and let it absorb you, consume you. The key to our full potential is right here. If you join me, I'll show you how. I'll show you everything those mindless drones at the Bureau try to hide from us. I'll only accept your surrender or defeat, Stina. <laughs> Time for you to earn your stripes, then. Give it your best shot. Won't work. <sighs> Another one bites the dust. Those wounds look lethal. I'd advise you to make your peace with the inevitable. Before you... ask. The baby is okay. I'm not a fucking monster. Good. Why'd you even bring it here? I thought it would unlock this damn mainframe. Since my stupid implant didn't work. She sure had a thing for... <coughs> Security protocols. You can consider the case. Closed. Leonard took out the conduit members. Then I put him down like the rabid dog he was. What's more important than my petty little wife is what you do with what's on that computer. It contains the code to Holdra, right? A powerful AI? <clears throat> yes. Adapted for a blue bio circuit. I thought. I would be the one to merge with... Stina? Good job, my love. She had to go. I wish I could understand what she was trying to do. We'll probably never know. No point in thinking about it. I need to gain access to the mainframe. Yes. Project Holdra is in our grasp. You know what to do. The device reacted. She had another wrist implant in her pocket.
Holdra's kernel is functional, but all my hybrid simulations have failed. The host always suffers from massive cognitive dissonance. We're likely dealing with an interface problem. Ordinary adult augmentation simply won't provide enough bandwidth for a successful cognitive symbiosis. I've been researching prenatal augmentation, and my initial findings look promising. Synchronizing the growth of a nervous system with an early introduction of blue may be the key. The young woman I have come in contact with has shown herself to be bright, dedicated, and loyal. She is willing to offer a child for our cause. The next step is to find a father, but we have to be selective. We can't risk this man exposing our activities. I also finally managed to acquire a sample of blue, but I am not proud of the things I had to do to get it. I just hope my city contact made it out alive. We've just finished the work on the womb tank. I'm still skeptical about this Carl, but Katarina assures me she can keep him on a leash. He seems like the jumpy paranoid type. I'll play along for now, but it's likely only a matter of time before he becomes a liability. Anyway, the tank needs some further testing, but it won't be long until we can attempt an artificial insemination. While we wait for the vessel to mature, I've established a self-destruct mechanism called the Fenrir Protocol. If we are ever compromised, it can be used to prevent our sacred work from falling into the wrong hands. The program will completely wipe all drives and backups. We can't risk our foes using Holdra for evil. It could well lead to the destruction of this entire planet. This is the only logical course of action, Alex. No. You can't. If you do this, I'll be gone forever. You're already gone, Alex. I love you, but you're gone. I guess I really am, huh? Maybe it's time to stop pretending. Yes. Living in denial like this is too destructive. Yeah. It's time for me to go. It is. Goodbye, Alex. Goodbye, Vera. I love you. That's it. It's done. Time to get you back to your mom, Munchkin. Thank God, is that... Is that her? Is she okay? Your child is unharmed. You must be recovering fast, given your transfer here. I'm all right. The headaches are almost gone, and I'm getting my energy back. What happened to Stina? Deceased. I also activated the Fenrir protocol in your secret lab. Project Holdra has been terminated. What? You did? Fuck. No, you ruined everything. What's done is done, but you can still be a mother. Oh, please. You'd think they'd ever let me keep her after everything I've done? She's right, you know. A woman who experiments on her own child? She's way too dangerous to be a parent. I'm never getting out of prison anyway. Just... just take her away. She's better off without me. We'll find someone to take care of her. Good. Just go. Get out of here. You know, Alex, for a moment, it nearly made sense to go through with it. When a loved one is within our grasp, it's so easy to start rationalizing, to treat incredible dangers as nothing but exaggerated, irrational fears. I learned to overcome those selfish emotions and accept the cold, hard truth. You're gone, and you're never coming back. 
I'll come back here every once in a while, but it won't be like before. For the first time since you passed away, I find myself curious about the future. And I think that's something worth holding on to.